How are you doing everyone? And Keisuke Masanaga for the first time in a while will be the animator of discussion. The sequence in particular is from the much loved episode 179, well known for its fast paced and impactful action sequences. Keisuke Masanaga is also the animation supervisor with Naoki Mahara as an uncredited assistant supervisor. And while Masanaga was certainly heavy on corrections and strayed from the character sheets, he like always brings a level of intensity to his episodes that is quite unmatched by many other supervisors on the series. And coincidentally, like the previous episode I just discussed, Daisuke Nishio is again the director and storyboarder. But like usual, before we go any further, the featured artist of this video is Medinaimata. His work is quite expressive and intense, really making it stand out, so go give him a follow. I'm sure he would very much appreciate it. The link to his account is in the description and tag me on either Instagram or Twitter while using this hashtag in your posts to possibly feature in a video. And now to Keisuke Masanaga. So starting off, we will cut straight to the fight where Goku launches at Cell with a really nice close-up. The shapes for the shading look great and remind me a lot of Shida's later work being very sharp with a lot of small triangles. Goku draws back a punch with some smears added and a impact frame thereafter, with great gestures in regards to Cell especially. The additional effects like the rubble, dust clouds and the camera shake further time communicating the impact to this punch. Right after, Goku goes to block Cell with some great expressions again. I also quite like that when Cell strikes, his fist still pushes into Goku's right arm rather than just robotically bouncing off, as well as animating his eyes as he tries to push back. Then Cell steps back in a defensive position with again a very forceful gesture with some expressive character art and somewhat a similar format as before which is a trait of his work in that he holds the key pose after a blow which helps sell the weight of it as well as building anticipation to the next one. Then we get some great smears and in this frame as both their fists make contact Masanaga draws a stack of motion lines all around their hands with a lot of those small triangular shards which is another little feature you'll commonly see in his work that while perhaps small adds some extra intensity. And then straight after we get a low angle shot. I quite like how the camera shakes side to side and sequence with the aftershock of their blows before petering out and by having the camera lean back in the opposite direction to the feet it builds this feeling of resistance with the directional forces then the two punch with cell grabbing goku's hand and goku grabbing cell's hand and although perhaps a small detail again masanaga rather than just drawing the shading and solid shapes as the arm moves he instead draws it with shapes that complement the motion of the arms and without going off topic from Masanaga, I love Nishio's storyboard here with how he chooses a first person perspective when these two look at each other. But right back to Masanaga, he draws some superb facial expressions with Cell. He carries such a ferocious look complementing the intensity of the scene. Then Mihara steps in with several corrections of Goku which while certainly look great, with quite a refined look to the character art that still carries intensity, it doesn't however carry as much ferocity as Masanaga packs into characters, but regardless, it still looks great. Additionally, Masanaga here could have easily just used stills of the characters staring at each other, but does some subtle animation of the shading, which again, perhaps minute on the surface, provides some sense of movement. But going forward, as they both power up, we are provided with some nice impact frames of the character's silhouettes before Aura erupts in the air, which is animated on ones with a loop of about four repeated frames paired with some rather stylish shapes. And when in motion, the Aura comes off as very forceful and intense, just synchronizing perfectly with emphasizing this big struggle. The camera then shakes horizontally, increasingly going further up and down, elevating the tension. We then cut away to some dialogue with nothing overly noteworthy, but soon after they both plant their feet into the ground with some awesome shapes in regards to like the chunks of dirt or rock before more rocks crumble away following this S pattern. Then there is a cutaway to both Gohan and Piccolo, which is corrected by Mihara. Again, I have to commend Masanaga for the attention to detail. Instead of just animating the capes flowing in the wind, he animates the entire outfit and the hair with some cool timing as well. He really doesn't do anything by half measures. And I have to say that this struggle is so well depicted as you always get this constant progression in tension. And just when you think it can't increase any further, Masanaga just ramps it up again. But now to the highlight, Cell manages to briefly get the upper hand, landing this blow which holds a lot of weight in how it's executed with the timing, effects, framing, and gesture. 
and it's very much the same when Cell is hit as well. The two then launch at each other with some very rectangular shaped smears, communicating a good sense of speed. They both draw back their punches with speed lines around, complementing the motion. Masanaga then draws a series of very strong and forceful poses that are repeated in a loop, before going to a close-up with some insanely good expressions for both Goku and Cell. I've gone more in depth about his art style in another video from like a while back, but to reiterate some of those points, the hair is often very sharp and pointy. He pushes the expression of the mouth with bold mouth corners and detailing the various folds of the skin around it with angular shapes for the mouth itself. The eyebrows are drawn in a very slanted way with a lot of lines that feel very expressive. And lastly, the pointy triangular shapes for the shading communicates an aggressive and cunning feel. And I also noticed that he draws these very long nails for Cell, which ties in well with making him feel even more villainous. But moving on after this really dynamic looking arm, you have some great anticipation as Cell draws back his punch, with the gesture being exaggerated and pushed with a forceful release. And finally, when in motion, the snapping between these extreme poses provides that insanely rapid pace to the blows being exchanged. And with that, the sequence ends there. In summary, Masanaga's characters are quite animated and his timing provides a rather smooth look which also paired with his expressive art style gives a lively and dramatic feel to his action sequences. Now, Nishio's direction here in this particular scene I wouldn't say is his strongest output in the series, but the storyboarding is still great with a nice variety of shots like the extreme close-ups emphasizing certain actions like Goku and Cell's fist, or the framing of Cell and Goku as they were punching each other with these tight close-ups, channeling the somewhat confined feel to hand-to-hand -hand combat. And finally, you also have that opening trend like we saw last time where Nishio throws a character into a scene, then the opponent returns with a block, and then they start returning punches. A really solid scene and a superb episode all around. But I'll end the video there. Thank you as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.